When we lived in Michigan, there was a dear friend down the road about an hour. He had been an accountant and actually had a large accountancy firm, and a number of people working for him wanted to become partners. But because they were not believers, he sold his business to them. They became the partners, and he ended up working for them. He was a quiet, unassuming, godly brother. And one day, as he and his wife were visiting the doctor, the doctor who had been a lifetime friend, told him the sad news that he had terminal cancer and had very few short months to live. Roger said to the doctor, Doctor, it must have been very hard for you to have to tell me that. Could I pray for you? that God will comfort you. And the man with the cancer prayed for the doctor that God would give him peace. He said to me sometime later, Jabe, this is probably the last chance I'll have on earth to happily do the will of God. And he just sailed into this thing without a ruffle, without a concern, without, without a complaint. He just accepted it all as a gift from God. And I thought of these words at the end of Isaiah 40. Have you not known, have you not heard, the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. We read in verse 31, Those that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. There are lots of religions that tell you how to live, but only the gospel shows you how to die. And I often think of this, that through our deaths, we may have a powerful witness to those around us because when you see how a Christian dies, there's nothing like it. In fact, a friend of mine told me that in many countries of the world, the first generation of Christians, all they get to do is die like Christians. And it moves the whole country to be less antagonistic to the gospel because they've never seen anybody die like that. May God help us to understand that death is not simply the last day of our lives. Death is a big deal. And as Paul could say, whether by life or by death, God is glorified. If you die younger, your life is shorter and therefore your opportunity to glorify God by your life. But your death has a greater impact. If you live to be 90, everybody expects 90 year olds to die. And so your life may have a greater opportunity to glorify God, but your death probably will have considerably less impact. And only God knows the equation of balancing your life and your death so that the maximum glory, the maximum revelation of the character of God is manifested through your life. Whether by life or death, said Paul, God is glorified. May the Lord help us to show by our lives and by our deaths how wonderful it is to belong to the Lord Jesus.